Oh, there's a few stories floating around. This one story I decided to put up just because I wanted to point out they were wrong. So, new Nintendo leak possibly points out new N64 and GameCube Classic consoles coming soon. And I say no. I say it's possible we're going to get both those consoles as classic consoles. Only because... Consoles. Two, five, seven. As because the patent for the N64, which was already found. Yes. But these leaks were not for that. So, well, that's why, why I'm confused and why they're saying this. No, wait, it has yeah, nothing to do with them. Okay, so, okay, so this hack actually came from a uh, data dump. So, the Nintendo Cloud, okay, on the Switch, if you have a Nintendo Switch online account, you have the access to the NES games that are on there, and you have access to cloud saving and online play and whatnot for really cheap. Um, and we get new games every like couple weeks on that thing, which is kind of cool. It's, it's once a month, once a month, yeah. So well, it seems like it seems like my yeah, switch online right. thing. So um, we get games every couple weeks. Um, now there's a data dump that someone found that someone obviously got into the system and found this data dump on there, and they found the data showing the other emulators. Um, and obviously, we the one of the big ones is Canoe, and we know Canoe is their SNES emulator on the SNES Classic. So that's obviously means that SNES games are coming obviously next month. They should be, which well, is kind of cool. Maybe. Um, and then we have no, Hayoku. Actually, yeah, we also. Actually, I doubt right. they're coming next month. They'll make a big deal of it when it shows up. No, no. There, there's uh, the data shows actually next month at some point. It has a date on it. Does anybody think that this month, whole uh, uh, um, these mini console things is too much now since they're doing it with everything? Well, people are thinking they're 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 about on their way out. They're not going to do it anymore. Like what in general? Oh, do you think it's just too much? Con- mini consoles. Like no a failure. A PlayStation or mini or no? I think just. Yeah. It's, it's done. No, I think, well, I think because of the patent, they are going to do the Mini N64. That is actually going to happen. All right. They wouldn't have filed the patent. I don't think they'll do a Mini GameCube, though. Well, we don't know. I think it matters in how well the N64 will be received. Um, well, yeah. yeah. Um, That's going to be hard to do, though. Because with the N64, they actually have to upscale it. Yeah. So, okay. So, we'll get the other two emulators, though. We have the Hayoku and the Count emulators, oh. okay? Oh. All right. Um, we don't know what these emulators are for. But we know they're emulators. Right. Um, and the only thing I can think of offhand, unless there are other consoles like Sega or something like that, uh-huh. that it's N64 and GameCube. Those mm-hmm. two. Yeah. Um, offhand. It could be like TurboGrafx-16 or it could be <laughs> Sega and who knows, like something, something else or I Dreamcast. Or, we don't know. Um, but offhand, my first assumption is going to be N64 and GameCube. Because they're sticking with Nintendo, like games. It would be it would be understandable if they gave those on the uh, Nintendo Online thing. Well, no, this is from the Nintendo Online yeah. thing. This is where this data dumps from. But there is no yeah, proof that there's going to be a classic, that there's going to be a mini. Well, no, yeah, but that's why the story got it wrong. These are actually the data dump was for things that are coming out on the Switch Online. Mm-hmm. What? Yeah, um, that's yeah, what this that's data dumps from. About, they talked about that on uh, Giant Bomb today too. Yeah, that, so that's this what it was. The, the whole thing was misinterpreted by some people. You tell yeah. me, in order to play these games again, I guess I download a computer, I have to get a freaking Switch. Yeah, so... Oh, well, yeah. waste of time. <laughs> um, so, if anybody's actually played, so, people have messed around with hacking this thing and found out you can't actually oh, load so emulators onto it. So, I think what's going to happen, we're going to see in the next week or so, somebody's going to start dropping in, like, either N64 games or GameCube games or Sega games, Sega CD games or whatever to find out what these emulators actually play. Mm. Um, and that's going to happen in about a week or so, I think. Who come up with these names for these things? I don't know. I do but not know. Turn, like the... Uh, uh, like the SNES emulator is called Canoe. Yeah. I have no idea what that means. Yeah, and NES is Catchy Project Catchy. Codenames, dude. That's what companies do. They have code names to their project. I mean, catchy Catchy. Do, do, we, do we have to bring up Xbox and its massive that's, amount of stupid That's why a lot names? of people dual boot on their uh, their classic systems. Yeah. They'd rather dual boot Durango. than they use yeah, Retro I mean, because they run better. Mm, well, no, know. not all games, though. Canoe can't run all SNES most. games. I need to run most. Retro Arc on my PlayStation but. Classic. I gotta figure out how to get that on there. Um, mm. So... I think this is neat. I think it's going to be neat once we see what's going to happen. I don't know. I say it's definitely worth it. It's dirt cheap, the online service. It's and you get free games like every month. Yeah. $20 would, for a year. I, would, I don't see why they wouldn't do this because the reality is the idea of being able to play these games online with other people gets better the further along you get. Like Super Nintendo, N64, 
these are the things you want to play on online with, like No Mercy. Oh yeah, um, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like if 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 they do do sixty four and GameCube on there, then maybe I'll get it. But right now, for NES and even Super Nintendo, I have other things to do that. Oh, in actuality, star online, dude. Yeah, in actuality, what the better thing would be to do for all of us to go in on it because we all have a Switch would be to grab the family, the family plan, plan yeah. for a lot cheaper. Yeah. Um, I'm not admitting you part of my family. <laughs> Man, um, I think that would be the cheaper uh, to go through. Is it like $34 but, a year or yeah. something? So I didn't know if this was true. So I haven't looked up the numbers yet uh, for the data that I found. But two of the podcasts that I list, gaming podcasts, like as far as gaming news, um, said that December Switch beat everybody for gaming sales, for council sales. They beat everybody. <laughs> I was like, holy crap. Oh. I was like, wow, that's pretty, like, after a year of, lot, like, they've already been through the launch stuff, and they still beat everybody through the uh, holiday like, sales. I don't like talking numbers because people always ignore worldwide. Yeah. Like, yeah, they, they beat they beat uh, everybody in the U.S. and yeah. in Japan. But worldwide, worldwide, they got buried, but we're not going to talk about that because that would screw up the narrative. No, I know. What I'm saying, though, I didn't realize that. I didn't look at the numbers. I was like, holy crap. I didn't realize Switch did so well. Well, that's why we say that... U.S. wise, Xbox isn't that far behind in the U.S. to PlayStation. Yeah, yeah that, but we're talking about Japan and worldwide, U.S. Worldwide, so. it's different. I just said that's that. Why yeah. I don't argue about it because I've spent too much time arguing with fanboys online when they say stuff like, um, when they say <laughs> stuff like Xbox would be ahead if Here's they didn't it. screw up their launch, and I'm just like, what to use it for, dude. They don't want to sell anywhere else. Oh, Even if they had the perfect want launch, they would no. still be miles behind in the U in like where do you want territory. It? Where it's my chest bomb, Overall, it's really bad. And I just I, I can't stand arguing with sales anymore because it's it's just delusional. Come on, the floor. Oh my glasses. So in general, in the end, I would. In general, in the end. I would say it's definitely worth it to get the Switch Online service, especially if we have SNES games coming, N64 games, and possibly GameCube games coming, or other systems, uh, because we January. also know January 30th of this month, the virtual store is gone. Oh, yeah, that's completely. right, from the, the Wii and the Completely Wii. gone. Yeah. So they said they gave that up. They gave that notice again, saying everybody, if you obviously if you have, a, I don't even know it was still on. If you, have a, if you have an email tied to Nintendo. Virtual console being gone. It's not gone. They're just changing it into this online thing, and you're still going to get a bunch of games. No, 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 on the Wii. No, all the yeah, games and stuff that are on the Wii, you can download. What I'm saying is people, people are complaining that the virtual console is dead. What I'm saying to people is that all they're doing is shutting down the old versions and changing the name. It's no longer virtual console. It's now Nintendo Online Service, which gives you access to all the games you're going to, you would have normally gotten. Uh, eventually. Well, eventually, as of right now, we only have C4 emulators on there. Gotcha, gotcha. Yes, but what would, you rather, <laughs> what would you rather have? The crappy virtual console again, or this thing that also gives you online play for all those games? Uh, well, no, that's very true. Netflix and, what I want. That's my no, point. and you're right, Grim. No, but the reason why I'm saying this because people, if they have accounts, like I got an email, another email from Nintendo saying, hey, if you still have games you bought on the virtual console, make sure to download them to your Wii or Switch or your Wii U so you can keep them permanently. Oh, uh, Wii U. Um, before we shut this off. What are you going to say, Ben? I'll just buy a system and just build a Raspberry Pi. I'm not going to buy a freaking Switch. It's pointless. <laughs> yeah. Freaking side scrollers. Yeah, it's almost as pointless hey, as hey, Xbox. Hey. Well, Xbox <laughs> has games. Yeah, every other game everybody else has. Yeah, it has more games. Well, it's kind of like the Switch. No, the, the Xbox, the, the Switch has. So, what's the next a story? Lot of games what you are can we doing? Play anywhere else. The Xbox has a lot of games you can play ah, anywhere yeah. else. That's basically what it is. So, our last story of the evening, we're going to get into <coughs> Battlefield 5 as a new update. 